वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर 67 सेवन ऑफ सी एस आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एनालिसिस एंड इट इज अ इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन सो लेट एस फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट ए बी एंड सी इज बिटवीन ओके लेट एस सपोज ए बी इज अ इंटरवल एंड सी इज अ पॉइंट बिटवीन दैम एंड एफ इज अ फंक्शन फ्रॉम ए बी टू आर एंड इट इज कंटिन्यूस इट इज गिवन टू यू दैट एफ इज कंटिन्यूस नाउ अज्यूम दैट एफ इज डिफरेंशियबल एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ दिस इंटरवल ओके इंटरवल माइनस दिस सी and f dash has a limit at c then which of the following are true so in the options what you have to do you have to check whether your function is differentiable at c or not because it is given to you that it is differentiable everywhere except c so you need to check whether it is differentiable at c or not right so first the first one, the first step for your solution will be that you need to check whether it is differentiable at c or not and after that you have to check that what is the limit of this thing f dash x at c okay so whether it is equal to f dash c or not these are the two step that you have to do in your option uh, in your solutions right so firstly writing that what is given to you it is given to you that f is continuous firstly this thing is given to you also this thing is given to you that f is differentiable at every point except this point c right it doesn't mean that it is not differentiable at c right it means that you need to check whether it is differentiable at c or not right so this is what is given to you and the last thing that is given to you that limit x goes to c f dash x this thing they are saying that this limit will exist this is what is given to you now you need to check whether your function is differentiable at c or not this is you need to check so you know the basic definition of differentiability so a function is differentiable at c if this limit exists right you know this definition okay this is the definition from the class 12th level this is the definition so this is the definition for the differentiability so if this limit exists if i somehow prove that this limit will exist then i am done with the part of differentiability that it is differentiable you are getting a point or not okay so firstly see that if you will apply c here what you will get you will always get 0 over 0 right so this is a 0 over 0 form now this is a 0 over 0 form and f is differentiable okay your your limit is tending towards c that means it's not c right here okay so x is not equal to c therefore this function which i have written here is differentiable okay because your x is not c therefore this function is differentiable this function is continuous and x minus c is always differentiable so what you can apply you can apply l hospital rule now you are getting my point or not so now applying l hospital rule why i can apply this because why i can apply because this function is differentiable why it is differentiable because x is not equal to c and it is given to you that your function is differentiable everywhere except that point c okay therefore i can apply al hospital rule because it is the, it is of the form 0 over 0 so by applying that rule what you will get you will get that f dash c okay not c sorry you will get f dash x over here and 1 over here okay now you already know that this limit will actually exist you are getting a point or not so from the condition number let us say 1 from condition number 1 this limit will exist okay this limit will exist so therefore i am i have started with this limit and now i have proved that this limit will finally exist using the al hospital rule so therefore what i can say that your function f is differentiable at c this is what i have proved right now okay now if you see what is this limit actually if this limit exists then what is the value of this limit okay while proving the differentiability thing if you prove that this limit will exist okay if you prove that this limit exist then the the lim the value of this limit is actually equal to the derivative of that function right you know this is the definition right if this limit will exist then its value is equal to 
the derivative of that function at that point so now since this limit is this limit exists so therefore it must be equal to f dash of c you are getting my point or no so therefore we are getting the second conclusion from here what is the second conclusion that limit x goes to c f dash x is equal to f dash of c so finally i have concluded everything that your given function is differentiable at c also i have concluded that limit x goes to c f dash x is actually equal to f dash c you are getting my point i am writing this because of the uniqueness of the limit you already know that this thing happens if this limit exists then this thing will happen okay now this limit exists now by the uniqueness of the limit you can say this okay so i am done with this question okay so this is a very easy question totally dependent upon this step that from this step you will proceed to this step so what is the missing thing that you have to fill up the missing thing is that this function is differentiable then only you can differentiate like this you are getting my point so first one says f is differentiable at c so this is correct second one says f is differentiable at c and limit f, f uh, limit f dash x at c is equal to f dash c so this is also correct third uh, second one now say that f it need not be differentiable this one is incorrect and fourth one says f is differentiable at c but f dash c is not necessarily the limit of f dash x x going to c so this one is incorrect okay why this is incorrect because of the uniqueness of the limit right so thank you